Good morning and happy Tuesday. Ms. Ellis is here and I am excited to tell you that our CKLA lesson for today is about Anton von Leeuwenhoek. And don't you worry, my friend Nick Nutri is back to tell you about it. Before you hear Nick Nutri explain, you're going to need to know three vocabulary words. Number one is observations, which are information that is gathered by very closely looking at someone or something. Number two is a microscope, which is a small instrument used to look at very small things. And number three is bacteria. Bacteria are living things that are not visible to the naked eye, or which means that we cannot see them because they are too small. So, Nick Nutri has a fun story about himself, and then he has fun facts about Anton von Leeuwenhoek, but your job is to figure out why Anton von Leeuwenhoek is famous and what discoveries he made that has helped us with the human body. Think you got it? Bacteria, observations, microscope, piece of cake. You enjoy our story today. I'll be back at the end with some questions. Hey kids, what's up? Nick Nutri here. Last time we were together, I was going to tell you about my friend named Anton von Leeuwenhoek, which I am. First, I want to tell you a story about me. When I was a Lee little boy, my father brought me home a present, and it was unlike anything I've ever seen. Turns out it was a microscope or something that I could use to look at things very close up. He always thought I was a curious boy, so he thought I might want to know what a butterfly wing looks like under a microscope. Have you ever seen a butterfly wing under a microscope? No, that was the first time I had either. But I used that microscope to look at everything. Blades of grass, even insects, eyeballs. It was the best present I've ever had. So Anton von Leeuwenhoek was also given a microscope. But his story is a little bit different. He used the microscope to magnetize magnetize things a hundred times bigger than they actually are. But he became very famous for using his microscope. Stick around and watch my story so we can figure out who Anton von Leeuwenhoek is and what he discovered that made him famous. Couldn't leave you hanging about what a butterfly wing looks like under a microscope. So here's a picture. What do you think? What kind of observations could you make? Yes, I think that Anton was just as intrigued by microscopes as I was. So he began to discover things about the human body that made him famous. Although he was not a scientist, at the age of 30, he he went to Holland and there he discovered a book called Micrographia, meaning small images. What do you notice about this image in this book? Yes, written by Robert Hooke, the book was full of drawings of tiny things only seen through a microscope. Anton was fascinated by how large and detailed the micro or small tiny objects looked when seen through the lenses of the microscope. It was a little like someone with poor eyesight putting on some glasses for the first time and discovering that something blurry could maybe, could look awesome through individual lenses. He couldn't wait to get home and experiment with things for himself. Upon his return from Holland, Anton began to build his own single lens microscope. He shaped his lenses very carefully though, grinding them down and polishing them smooth so that Anton's simple microscopes magnified objects more than 50 to 200 times their normal size. Anton began to be so interested in science and nature ever since that he took the opportunity to study nature at a much closer range. He quickly carried squiggly worm-like insect larvae around in his pocket, eager, eager to watch life cycles transform underneath his lens. Using the microscopes he made himself, he studied people's skin, duck hearts, 
scales on fish, cow eyes, and even water bugs. What a strange man he was, others thought. But this patient man, driven by curiosity, wanted to learn more. He never lost interest in those fish scales or gnat wings or even hairs on a fly. He looked at the same things over and over and over again, comparing, measuring, and observing his findings. Anton conducted many con experiments with water, drinking water from his well, water from lakes and rain and seas and melted snow. He even discovered what it liked, what it looked like to see tiny animals inside these lake water sections. Anton claimed that he even saw more animalcules swimming about in the water. These little animals he called animalcules and estimated or guessed that 1,000 of these tiny creatures could fit the head of a pin like a sewing needle. People would call him a liar and even a magician thinking he was mad or even a little bit crazy. But in fact, Anton was not mad at all. His little animals were not really animals. What do you think they were? You're right. He was the first to observe and describe tiny, tiny little things living in nature that were too small to see with the naked eye, including bacteria and germs. In other words, bacteria cannot be seen with the naked eye. It must require a microscope to be seen. Many scientists believe that these tiny forms of life have been here for more than three billion years. They surrounded us in the air, on water, on land, but no one was aware of their existence before Anton recorded what he saw before Anton rec recorded his tiny little animals, no one had ever seen or discovered what germs and bacteria were. Even more curiously, Anton would study saliva from inside your mouth. He found that the sticky coating on your teeth was actually crawling with tiny microorganisms or living things. Look at these tiny little germs. Touch your teeth right now. Do you feel tiny little things? Can you see them? No, because you must use a microscope, but you do have them too. Don't you worry, they won't hurt you. We'll learn about them later. But Anton kept a journal recording his detailed observations. He made friends with two doctors. They told him to, that they also kept similar journals of their discoveries and invited Anton to share his work with them. So for the next 50 years, Anton sent hundreds of letters to England. His letters described in great detail the tiny, tiny living structures that he saw through his homemade microscopes. He even described fungus on stale, moldy bread. He also saw the stingers on honeybees or the mouth of a honeybee or tiny little crawling lice. Because he could not draw well, Anton hired, I can't draw well either, but Anton hired someone to illustrate these tiny little pictures that he saw. The English society, or the two men that invited him with his letters, loved everything that he sent, that they published his drawings for others to read. Anton von Leeuwenhoek did not invent the microscope, nor was he the first to use one. But using his own simple microscope, he found and saw more things than anyone had ever discovered before. Anton's was very simple, but even more simple than the ones today, the entire instrument was only used, that was the only instrument that was used was three to four inches long and had to be held up close to the eye. Anton's microscope only used one single lens. 
Modern microscopes, like the blue one in this picture, have multiple. What? Today, objects are put on glass slides to be viewed. These objects remain in one place, in the lens that moves, not the objects to get closer and closer and closer. Then, Anton's invention required good lighting and a great patience to use, but no one came close to matching the quality of Anton von Leeuwenhoek's microscopes for more than hundreds of years after his death. Four to 500 microscopes that Anton is believed to have made no more exist today. Anton is one of my heroes because he was the first person to describe the tiny living bacteria and his tiny discoveries made it possible for us to see other living things that are invisible to the naked eye. They are the building blocks of the earth. As a nutritionist, I am fascinated by how the human body works with these tiny bacteria living organisms that make up the human body. The next time we meet, I look forward to teaching you about the amazing bodies, tiny living building blocks. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for learning about Anton von Leeuwenhoek. I hope you stick around to hear more about the amazing human body next time. I hope you enjoyed our story with Nick Nutri. He is quite the character. But did you figure out why Anton von Leeuwenhoek is Nick Nutri's hero? That's right, he is the first person to discover bacteria or the living things that make up organisms or are inside the human body. So he is not the first person that invented a microscope, but he was the first person to use the microscope to find bacteria. Awesome job listening today. Go answer those other questions, those comprehensive questions on the slide, because don't you forget, you've got a quiz coming up on Thursday. Come back tomorrow for our skills lesson with Miss Macrath. See you tomorrow.